Hey gang, back with another video for you today. I got Dahlia here and today we're previewing a brand new house, niche perfume house called Orens Parfums. Four fragrances here. We're going to talk to you about these four fragrances that were recently launched at Javoy and soon to be making their way here in the States, hopefully. Uh, we're also going to do a full bottle giveaway uh, for subscribers of my channel from the USA, Canada, UK, and the U European Union. So if you're curious to discover Oren's Parfums, I'm sure Dahlia is, because we featured one of their fragrances in our Rose and Oud video. So if you want to find out about these, please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in, this is Sebastian. If this is your first time landing on this channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, and of course participating in giveaways, and still have not subscribed, please click the subscribe button below. And also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So last January when I was in Paris, I went to Javoy and I immediately saw these beautiful fragrances and I was like, wow, these are very, very unique bottles. I'm very curious to smell them and I sampled them all and I really enjoyed them. So I reached out to the brand and said, let's do a video about your brand because I really love the bottles. The fragrances are amazing and uh, here they are now. I have the fragrances here and we're going to tell you all about them. Everything. Everything about them. So Orange Parfums are sold at Javoy currently and a couple of other stores. I think they are also sold in the UK uh, branch of Javoy. And there's one other store, but hopefully they'll soon make it here in the States. Uh, the, the, the fragrances are Eau de Parfum, 100 ml bottles, although each one holds a 50 ml tube. And there's two times 50 ml glass bottles, and you open this up and you insert the, the glass inside. So it's a total of 100 ml, but each tube is uh, 50 ml, so you have two of those. And um, the, the prize is, of course, one of these fragrances. And let's talk about the fragrances. We featured the, the one fragrance here called, is it Moire de Calha? I think it must be Moire. Moire? Looking at it. Okay. But What language do you think that is? I'm saying it like it's French, but I don't think Calha is, but the D is, so. Moire, Moire de Calha. Something like that. So, I'm going to have you take the fragrance and spray it and talk uh, about the smell. And I'm going to show these guys how the packaging is because it's pretty amazing. So the box is like this and the fragrance, um, the box comes out, I'll put that there. And then the fragrance sits in there like there. The bottle is here. And on this side, as you can see, this opens up, is where the additional 50 ml glass uh, atomizer or vial is. So you open this up and once this one's run out you pop that in. So it's a total of 100 ml but uh, it's two times 50 ml and it also comes with this beautiful sleeve that you can insert the bottle in. So that's the presentation of this brand Oren's Parfums. So why did we feature this one in our Rose and Oud video? It's extraordinary. Yeah. It's, um, it's exceptionally lovely. Um, it does have rose. It does mm. have oud. It's a good oud. It's got my, the patchouli, which I apparently need in my rose oud combinations. <laughs> but um, you can kind of get the violet and some of the other florals kind of um, backing up the rose, but like backup singers and the rose is the star. And um, it's... So, so well done. Do you know who the perfumer is? The perfumer is Karine Vinchon Spenner. Uh, I've heard about her. I don't know too much about her fragrances, but what really stands out for me in this one is at the top, you got the Divana. It's very green and licorice mm -hmm. along with the lemon. And the dry down, you also pick up the vanillic touches. But of course, along the way, you're enjoying that beautiful rose. It's a very, very jammy, jammy, juicy rose. Yeah. And then, of course, you have the oud and the patchouli as well. I really love this one. Really this is good. probably the winner in the collection. There's also a second oud and rose one, but it's completely different than this one uh, we'll get to it in a minute but this is pretty awesome gorgeous yeah so that one is moire de calha it's got a nice weight i don't know i mean it feels sort of expensive like you've made an investment yeah and the cap we talked about this in the other video but um time time and thought went into this um, totally design and it it's 
it's bejeweled. <laughs> I, that's great. Francois Hanin of Javoy, when I did my tour video there, if you guys caught that, he was uh, mentioning this. And actually, when I first met him at the store, he said it's kind of like a little lightsaber uh, the, uh, from the Star Wars films. So. I, you really, you, you, could, you could cause somebody great pain. It's pretty heavy duty, right? It, it's, it's, it's like there's some sort of Indiana Jones scroll or something inside it. You know, <laughs> like it's, it's, um, it's really, I'm going to stop touching it now so we can move on. But it, it's great packaging. All right, so the second one is uh, Silendo de Ecume. Is that how you say it? I don't know, but maybe Silenda de Cume. Something like that, yeah. I don't know why. I, I, I don't even know if this is a French brand. I'm making it's a French brand. Okay, because I'm, <laughs> so, I'm making it French. If it yeah, I think that there's other languages thrown in their names. So okay. So that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. Actually, it's been a very, very long time since high school French, and <laughs> that was probably why. I never took high school French, but I also forgot to mention the price of these fragrances. They retail for 190 euros, so it's under 200 euros. I think if they are sold here, they would probably go up to be about 230, 240, somewhere around that. Do they sell the inserts only without I, the metal thing? I haven't seen it. But they do have a, um, a small set of uh, smaller 10 ml bottles, but that's all I've seen. So this one is Sil Silendo de Acume. Silendo de Acume. Silendo de Acume, okay. Anyway, so, so we have for notes here at the top, bergamot, apple, peach, in the heart, heliotrope, orris, lily of the valley, in the base, cedarwood, musk, vanilla. And this is created by Natalie Festar, the perfumer. And let's go ahead and sample this one. This is the first one I fell in love with and I thought this was so good. It's such a strong and potent, juicy, fruity uh, and trend. And he said, I, you're not going to like this one. You're I was surprised you liked it. I really like this one. I, it's, mm. it's not like, it's not like a super fruity. Because it's floral and fruit, maybe. But it is sweet. Um, it's like, um, it's kind of like the syrups they put in Italian soda, you know, where they I don't know, make different flavors for you. What I like about this one... Oh, that peach. It's really good, huh? It's, it's really nice. But there's no coconut mention. I get a coconut. Coconut and slightly aquatic touches in here as well. Maybe the heliotrope? Could be. There's that almondy kind of... Um, I, I actively dislike almond and fruity and sweet, so I, I have no I have no explanation. I, ca I can't I can't explain myself. Yeah, she does almond. she does dislike almonds because we were buying uh, some croissants and there was only almond croissants left, and she was like, no. <laughs> I was I was a total brat about the almond croissant. Anyway, you ate it. No, it's good. I love almond croissants. Anyway, this is a really really good one. I think these two for me are the strongest of the the four, but I liked. Well, we'll keep going, yeah. but I liked um, at least one of these, but I don't remember anymore. But I think the caps are slightly different. Am I yeah, they are. Am I remembering this wrong? Like, on these two, they both have one groove here. I'm obsessed with these caps. And then on these, they have, like, spikes. Like, it's a different... Well, we'll get to that. But. All right, so the third one is Sabil Nocturne. Mm -hmm. I think that's how you say it. So for notes on this one, you got top... Mandarin, rosewood, iris, and leather. In the heart, you got elemi, vetiver, and incense. In the base, labdanum, styrax, styrax, and musk. And the perfumer here is Daniel Visenton. And I think personally for me, this is my least favorite. But we shall see. Bold statement. Well. I like all the things you, you listed there. I like basically everything you said. I like rosewood, I like leather, I like incense. Oh, the cap, it's like a crown. It's like a crown, yeah. Ah! Yeah, this, these bottles are gorgeous. Actually, come to think of it, now I'm really liking this one. Right? Yeah. I I just I like. I this shouldn't. Thing. There was a side discussion. You can add in the comments. There was a discussion about labdanum and whether or not it's opium. Labdanum is like rock rose. But I feel like. And I it's, read... it's what they use to create the amber accord in fragrances. Well, it's a good At least that's Don't what perfumers that have told me. Just something about labdanum, labdanum, lab. However you say it. Labrador. That's not it. <laughs> what do you think of this? I like it. I'm, for me, it reads a little more masculine. I think it's, it's definitely masculine. Yeah, this, and maybe that's the difference between. Um, well, all the notes there, like elemi, vetiver, incense, they're all very masculine notes to me. Kind of describing half my collection. Oh yeah. So well, you I should like this. I do like it. Yeah. It's. I don't think it's for me. Because it is masculine, but this is absolutely something I would want to smell on a man. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll it's, wear it then. <laughs> 
All right, so last but not least, we have Undea de Il. Des Iles. Des Iles. I do remember that. When, when there's an S, before, there goes in, becomes a Z. Des Iles. Des Iles. Undea Des Iles. Okay. Very difficult names for us. We're not native French speakers. Somebody somewhere in France is just, is just like head yeah. in hands, <laughs> just so upset right now. We're, we're really sorry. Anyway, this one has notes of bergamot, raspberry in the top. In the heart, you have rose, ginger, and oud. This is the second oud one, as I was saying. And in the base, you've got musk and vanilla. And the perfumer for this one is uh, Jacques Fiori. We have another crown. crown. Now this one I'm interested to smell again because raspberry typically is not a note I I, I am delighted by. But I like this one. <laughs> I like this one too. I, I like all of them. I don't I don't think there's a miss in this. This one has a different. Uh, they all have different jewels. Yeah. Some of them are blue and some of them are pink. This is really nice. Oh, I remember what it was about this one. It kind of like. Makes me slightly feel like I need to cough every time I smell it, which is just me. Um, not in, it smells really, really lovely, but it has that like, I think that the word is indolic, but like that spring flower, like if you have a bouquet of daffodils and you smell, you inhale and it's sort of like <laughs> You know, I think that's caused by the ginger. Really? Yeah. And the ginger is pretty potent for me in this one. It's, it's really, zingy. it's really nice. Yeah. It's really, I feel like that, I, 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 this is, this is quite an impressive launch. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. And they have really awesome presentation, really awesome bottles. I mean, I haven't seen bottles like this ever. <laughs> it feels like, um, it feels very Middle Eastern. I think maybe I'm struggling with the French names because it, it, it feels like, um, what I associate with. The, the Middle Eastern market, that what? kind of um, regal sort of dense uh, construction, and then these bottles have a very like Arabian Nights kind of a feel to me. But I. Um, yeah, I, I see. I, I can't think of another bottle that looks like this, and it's very cool. Yeah. Guys, are you familiar with Oren's Parfums? Do you know these four fragrances? Um, let me know what you think about these uh, fragrances. And let me know which one sounds the best to you. And we have a full bottle giveaway as well. As I said, thanks to the lovely folks at Oren's Parfums. Uh, we are doing one bottle to one subscriber of this channel to uh, subscribers from USA, Canada, EU, and the UK. So what, what we want you to do is to put down which fragrance sounds the best to you? First of all, you have to put the name down, uh, make sure it's spelled correctly, and then let me know why it sounds great to you. Did I always say that? No, that's fair. Yeah. The name of the fragrance and why you picked that one. Yeah, that let, just let like me know what, why you pick it, and then you put your country down. Uh, other than that, let, let us know what you think about these four fragrances. Does it sound great to you? Do you love the bottles, packaging, presentation? Just let us know so we can find out from you. And of course, the, the brand can also read about what you guys all think. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, as I said, please subscribe with uh, clicking the notification button because we still have people not claiming their prizes. And of course, this is such an awesome giveaway. You don't want to miss out on having a chance at claiming your prize. Are we done? I might be entering. You're up against me. <laughs> Sars. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Otherwise, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.